Alistair Crowley. If you do not know about this man, you probably haven't been in the truth community for very long because we know about him in the truth community. And it's not a good thing knowing about this person. It's good for the information to, you know, to know what deception is. But this person, when he was alive, was a horrible person. He wanted to be known as, the, like, the Beast 666. He was a Satanist. He was a Freemason. Do I need to say anything else? He was a magician. He did yoga. He's doing... He, he did, like, all the Antichrist stuff. Like, if you read about him, he has many books about magic and witchcraft and other things, about yoga. It's good in a way to look at this person to see what to avoid. He's seen here. I don't know exactly what the symbolism means with his hands like that, but he's wearing a hat that has the all-seeing eye, the eye of Horus, and it's illuminated. That is like the symbol of the enemy of God and of Christians and of everyone, in fact. He's got a book there with a pentagram in a circle. I wonder what that book is about. <laughs> so most of us know this person, and I'm kind of like, you know, repeating myself and preaching to the choir, but he influences, he influenced, and he still influences many, many people. When my mom passed away in 2017, I lived with my stepdad for a year, getting things together and figuring out what was going on, and he has a daughter... And she had a bunch of things about the chakras. She had a statue of Isis and incense. And she had books by Aleister Crowley. Right? I'm a Christian living there and that's going on below me. And I'm just like, you know, I told my stepdad about that stuff. I'm like, you know, she shouldn't have those things. They're horrible things to have. And I'm not comfortable with them in the house. And we should do something about it. But I, I live on my own now. I visit my grandparents all the time. But I'm away from that nonsense. And... For me, it just goes to show that this stuff is everywhere and people get so influenced. This would even be part of the New Age. But I, I will say, I'm not defending this in any way, brothers and sisters, you know that. But I will admit that some of this stuff can be interesting at first when you're just like, oh yeah, magic, it's interesting and like, like things that happen. But we will find out fast that it's not interesting, it's horrifying, and we should stay away from it. It is anti-Christ and satanic. Most people know the Beatles. Did you know that they were Satanic Freemasons? Humongous surprise, hey? If you don't believe me, please do your research about it. On their album, which is, I think Rolling Stone named this the best album of all time. It's either one of the best albums of all time, or it's named the best album of all time. According to who, right? Rolling Stone? Anyways, they have people on the album cover that they're interested in that influenced them and Aleister Crowley, Aleister Crowley, Crowley, whatever, however you want to say his name, he is featured on this album. Jimmy Page, the guitarist of Led Zeppelin, you know, Stairway to Heaven, a blasphemous song. If you play it backwards, it talks about My Sweet Satan and other things. And if you don't believe that, a stairway to heaven is like bypassing the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. There is no stairway to heaven. Freemasons have stepladder and ladder uh, symbolism. A stairway to heaven? No thanks, Jesus Christ. I don't need your death, burial, and resurrection, which is the only truth in the world. No, no, no. I, I'm going to build a stairway to heaven. Tower of Babel days, right? It's the same garbage. So Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin bought Aleister Crowley's house. Hmm, interesting, hey? I still get people at times, and there's lots of people in the New Age that don't realize it's deception, but when you do yoga, yoga means yoke with Brahma. Brahma is the Hindu deity god, the creator of everything, which is a demon, right? All these false gods and these graven images and these idols people make, they, they may have spiritual power behind them, but it is from, you know, false entities. It is from... Uh, angel or sorry, fallen angels and demons and familiar spirits masquerading as an angel of light in some cases, and sometimes not even in cases. Have you seen the Hindu gods? They're all a bunch of demons that are into murder and like all this garbage. It's craziness. It is not racist to point this out. Everyone needs Jesus Christ. All the cultures of the world that leave him out, they're in need of Jesus Christ. I need people to understand this. We live in a biblical world. 
The Bible explains how we were made, who we are, what's going on. It really is the truth. It's the Word of God. The King James Bible is the Word of God. Nothing else says what's going on. Everything else is false. I know that is narrow-minded to some people, but it's meant to be that way. The path is narrow. Alistair Crowley, eight lectures on yoga. He's got another book on yoga, and it has the Freemason compass. Probably just a coincidence. He says in a quote, The two seem, at first glance, to be opposed, but when you have advanced a little in both, you will find that concentration learned in yoga is of immense use in attaining mental powers necessary in magic. On the other hand, the discipline of magic is one of the greatest service in yoga. Yoga and magic go together. When I say magic with a K, it is witchcraft. He's got another quote, a white male child of perfect innocence and intelligence makes the most suitable victim. Hmm. You know the West Memphis Three, uh, Damien Eccles, the main leader of that, right? He spent time in jail for his crimes of murdering children. Aleister Crowley is a big was a big fan, or he's a big fan of Aleister Crowley. He like wrote he wrote letters to him, or I don't know. I can't remember all the details of it, but Damien Eccles of the West Memphis Three, who murdered three who murdered three children, I believe, was a fan of Aleister Crowley. And all the celebrities came to their aid and wanted to get them out of jail and raised awareness and money and whatever. Here he is, dressed up in Egyptian pharaoh type garb, and he's got the leopard print. Our brother Adam at Jeremiah Cohen Channel did a lot on the leopard print. I haven't researched it as much, but I know it's satanic and antichrist. It has to do with Egypt. You know, Egypt. Egypt and God really got along in the Old Testament, eh? <laughs> Here's Aleister Crowley dressed up, and he's doing the vow of silence, the sign of Hippocrates, just like Freemasons do. This is a drawing by Aleister Crowley when he summoned a demon, when he summoned an alien called Lamb. And Lamb looks exactly like, or very close to, the, the typical gray alien that the media's brainwashed us with. Aliens exist, and UFOs exist, except they are not aliens, quote-unquote. They are fallen angels or demons. They don't come from vast outer space or other planets. No one's landing on a light in the sky that God made. That's all deception. They are inter interdimensional. They come from the spirit realm into our world, especially in these last days. Christians will be raptured. The aliens will be here. There'll be some kind of contact, and I'm sure they will dismiss it away. Those crazy Christians are so full of hate. They need to go for some upgrades to learn how to be more loving and caring towards people. Even though Christians, real Christians, want people to be saved and aren't afraid of looking bad in, in the eyes of the world because salvation is the most important thing. I'd rather have people hate me for the truth than love me for lies. I want to tell people the truth that saves their soul because... No one alive, once they realize they're in hell, will be like, oh yeah, this is a great decision. I'm so glad I didn't know Jesus Christ and listen to those Christians or anything. So I hope this is very clear. I just wanted to do a video on Aleister Crowley today because he's very influential. He was influential and he still is influential. He's seen here with the eye of Horus, the eye in the triangle, the enemy of God. This is Satan's eye and it's, ha it's illuminated, right? They all believe they have illumination or what's it called? Nirvana. Enlightenment. The Beatles have Aleister Crowley on their album cover. The best, the, be the best album of all time has Aleister Crowley on it. That should say something. Jimmy Page, Led Zeppelin guitarist, Stairway to Heaven, right? He bought Aleister Crowley's house. Aleister Crowley does eight lectures on yoga. Why? Because it's satanic and antichrist. It's not something any Christian should do. It's not something anyone should do. And it's so popular nowadays, people think it's just stretching and exercise, but it's not. He's got another book on yoga with the Freemason compass. He leaves a, a, an insane quote about yoga and magic being linked together. He talks about sacrificing a child. I believe this man was a pedophile and he was also a murderer and he wrote books about it and everyone loves him for some reason. Egyptian garb and leopard print. Vow of silence, keeping the secret of the biblical world about fame, fortune, success, and most likely about Freemasonry. And he drew this picture of an, a deity, whatever, uh, an alien that he channeled and met with and, you know, invoked. But this looks exactly like the gray aliens 
aliens are demons and fallen angels. We do not live in outer space, rocketing through whatever. I know I'm getting tired of saying this sometimes, but many people don't realize this. Last day's deception of aliens. A lot of Christians know about this and they know that it's false. And it's like, it's the last card, right? The Illuminati card game. There's truth in those things, right? Conspiracy theorists sound crazy. Those flat earthers, they know something and all that kind of stuff. But this is something he channeled or invoked or like, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word I'm looking for right now. But, right, he made this thing appear to him probably with witchcraft, magic, and other things. Probably sex magic and all these other gross things they take part in. And does this not look like an alien? But aliens do not exist. They are demons and fallen angels, brothers and sisters, everyone else. God bless you.